Now, in 2021, you may remember Outback Queensland's Quilpy earned itself a worldwide reputation as the Australian town giving away, quote-unquote, free land. At the time, the council's homeowner grant was the same price as some blocks of land. Well, in a rather bizarre series of events, the grant has attracted an international professor known for his controversial research into computer-human interactions, including love and sex with robots and his support of former Queensland Senator Fraser Anning. As Danielle O'Neill reports, the professor is planning to build them both homes in the state's outback. In the mega city of Tokyo, Japan, controversial technology professor Adrian Chiok is planning to build his new home in the micro town of Quilby, outback Queensland, population 650. And he might also build a second house for his best friend and political ally, former Queensland Senator Fraser Anning. It sounds like a bizarre fever dream, but the professor says he's 100% serious about his most recent property purchase. My idea is to build two houses there and then if Fraser Anning wants to come back, uh, you know, he can stay there as long as he likes uh, as, as my very good friend. Wow, that's very generous. I'd love if one of my friends were happy to build a house I could stay in. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to build two houses anyway. So, you know, I'll, I'll live in one and if... Uh, for phrase saying that come, then I, I, I can always rent them out. Professor Chiok, who currently lives between Tokyo and South Australia, has lectured at several international universities and published more than 200 research papers on topics including computing, engineering and multisensory communication. He purchased two blocks of vacant land in Quilpie last year for $38,000 each after news of the local council's new homeowner grants went viral. The $12,500 grants require home buyers purchase a block of land, build a new home, and live in it for at least six months. But somehow I came across the article that Quilby was selling uh, like brand new land. Uh, I'm not sure they call it crown land or council land or whatever, but it was brand new land sold by the council. And I thought it's normally a pretty good deal when you buy it directly from the gov- government. And um, I wanted to, wanted to settle in Queensland because I'm, I'm extremely good friends with um, former Senator Fraser Anning. In fact, I spent about three months with him in America when the pandemic started, actually. <laughs> I was stuck in America during the pandemic as well. The reason I spent three months with him is I actually wrote a book, a biography of Senator Fraser Anning. It took me about three months of interviewing him. Professor Cheok ran as a candidate for the far-right Fraser Anning Conservative National Party in Boothby, South Australia, at the 2019 federal election. His tree change was partially inspired by his experience writing the biography of Mr Anning, who was raised near the northwest Queensland town of Richmond. I have not visited far north or, or far, far west Queensland ever before. I mean, I've been to Brisbane and in Cairns, you know, for holidays, uh, Gold Coast, that kind of thing. I thought to myself, I've just spent three months writing about Fraser Anning's life and his life in the outback in Queensland, and I thought it would be great to experience it. So I actually stayed in Babinda with his brother, Harry Anning, for about uh, three months, uh, and we really enjoyed Babinda. So for all those reasons, I thought I want to live in Queensland, and then these properties came up, and I bought two of them, in, in, in Quilpie. Mr Anning was declared bankrupt in 2020 over a failed investment and is believed to be in the United States. The ABC was unable to contact Mr Anning for comment. Professor Cheok was also the subject of controversy when he was made a member of the Order of Australia in 2019 for his significant service to international education. The professor's lengthy engineering career has included research into the topic of intimate relationships with robots, including love and sex. The Digital Games Research Association Australia challenged the Queen's birthday honour, pointing to instances of poor conduct towards his peers on social media. The Governor General's office stood by its decision. I'm, I'm interested in robot intelligence, and I think that in the future we will have probably friendship, maybe even uh, love with robots. And and then there may be people who have love and sex with robots. It, so the media just picks up on the sex part, but it was it really was a, a, a minor minor part of the 
of the research. Uh, I do like being controversial in, in the, you know, the very eccentric scientist. The local council CEO, Justin Hancock, says it was very surprising that the council's new homeowner grant attracted a professor. It's definitely something that we didn't expect, but our intent at the end of the day was to help grow our population and attract new people to the region. And, you know, we're glad that we're able to do that. Yeah, obviously he's a really uh, well-educated person and has some uh, out there ideas with regards to technology. So, you know, there is potential there that who knows, we could set up a whole new industry that could take Corpy by storm. We're yet to meet Professor Chiok and, you know, obviously uh, once we meet him and have those discussions, people will be able to form their own opinion. Um, You know, we're a pretty diverse uh, community and we welcome, you know, everyone. Professor Chiok says he's hoping to make new friends in Quilpie. I've lived in a lot of places around the world, so I think I'm at the point in my life that I'd be very happy to be in a more quieter, uh, smaller town. And uh, even now in Tokyo, I mean, you look now, everyone's wearing masks, (laughs) there's mask mandates still. The pandemic changed uh, my attitudes to living in big cities as well. Professor Adrian Cheok there, ending that report by Danielle O'Neill. You're listening to ABC Western Queensland. It's 23 minutes past seven.